Okay, so I'm going to show you one of my favorite parts about my food forest. And it has to do with the ducks. So the duck pond water is getting a little mucky, which is great because that means if you can see this wonderful hose attachment that's hooked up to the duck pond. And since it's up high on the hill, I don't have to have a pump or anything like that. And it's set to open right now. And this hose, well, you can see how lush the overgrowth is right here, where, um, where the duck pond water overflows. Also, let me show you how cute this is. This is the new favorite nesting spot of the ducks. They come in here and they lay their eggs right underneath the elderberry. So it's all gravity fed. And I take that wonderful, glorious duck pond water. And I use that water to water my garden, especially my food forest. I haven't really hooked it up yet to be able to fit a hose to go into the, the regular garden, but as soon as I get that set up, I'm going to be using that a lot. So I'm very excited. Now I've got a kink in this hose. Let me show you how easy this is though. I mean it's it's going to be super green water, I mean super dense, good nutrition going straight onto my trees, straight onto my bushes. Uh, it's a great thing. Okay, here's my hose. I had it ready to go. There's a kink in it. And then there we go. Look at that green goodness right there. And I just take it and I go down. There's my fig. Give it a good treat. They are loving this right now. And I'm going to water this bed. Because as soon as our last frost date comes, I'm going to be planting squash in here. And you can imagine how much a good dose of fertilizer in the squash bed is going to be. And corn. Some good stuff. for one duck pond full of what I have, that kiddie pool, I get half of my garden watered, which is perfect because I clean out the duck pond maybe once a week, water my garden with it, and if I, if I can get out of my garden, there we go. Um, if I watered my garden the entire thing every week with the duck pond water, even though duck manure is a cold manure, it probably wouldn't be healthy anymore. It would probably um, be too much. And so every two weeks I use the duck water. Um, at, well, every two weeks the duck water hits everything in the garden. And so that's the perfect amount that I need to keep everything super happy healthy. Now I've had some people tell me, oh no, you can't use the duck water uh, straight onto your plants because it'll burn them. Oh no, because duck water, duck manure is cold manure. Um, it's like saying don't use your aged manure on your garden beds. That's, that's not a thing. And also, uh, I've been doing this for a couple years now and I've had nothing but prolific, beautiful, abundant growth. And it is not once affected my plants in a way of too much fertilization. Plants turn different colors depending if they need nutrients or if they have too much underwatered, overwatered. My plants haven't had a problem at all. So everything's watered, 
fertilized. I got the beds uh, with the garlic in it watered real good and I'm going to put some leaf mold on top of that and as soon as May 3rd hits I'm going to be putting that squash in. Those ducks have no idea the surprise they're going to have when they get back to their home. That fresh pond. I'm so excited. Seeing them in a fresh pond is one of my favorite things about the whole homestead. And something is eating my liatris. So do you see how wonderful this row is of liatris right here? Well, I planted a very similar row over here and they were all coming up, but now I'm missing some. I think it's the battle of the voles again. I gotta get those voles out of here. Oh, I'm not exactly sure how to do it. It's frustrating. I don't want to put chemicals on my garden. So I got to figure it out. Maybe I just got to plant super, super densely and let them have their fun. And then hopefully I'll get some out of it as well. So this water may not look very fun or appetizing, but it's just that the reflection's kind of weird on it. But there's sand in the bottom of it. And we've had sand in there because, you know, our... Our soil is basically sand right here and we're on a hill and we did our best to kind of keep it at bay but with the ducks waddling in and out the sand always gets in and so it's uh it's not pretty but the water is clean and they like to have a little bit of a dirty water and I don't get in there and scrub it because there's really no point ducks like dirty water and even if they didn't, they would dirty up that water within a day. So I am not getting in there and scrubbing it. But I will refresh their water. And I will give them fresh stuff to swim in. One, because, you know, they like it. Two, it makes them healthier. And three, it feeds my garden. So all those are good things. Hey, duck ducks. The nice thing about ducks is they stay in a group together. <laughs> no, 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 no. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, they're going to love this. Little Brown is the first one in. Good for him. That's so nice, isn't it? Who do you think, Finn? Are you going to take care of that egg for me? Yeah? Okay, I would like to say that that egg that Finn got, that was an egg that, that the ducks had laid in the pond. And so that was not a good egg anymore. I don't usually let him just take things like that. Well, thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, push that like button and then make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you hit that notification button, you'll be able to see when new videos come out as soon as they do. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day and God bless.